How's it going everybody? Welcome to my page. I'm going to talk about some uh, PS3 games that I picked up in the past. There are some. I'm going to highlight 10 of my more valuable PS3 games. Just 10 of them. I got a lot more of them than that. PS3 is one of the systems I collected over the years. I've got a pretty good collection. Everybody knows I'm going for a complete PlayStation 3 collection. Yeah, so I got my Wikipedia page up here to explain some of these games. Only one game I played full retail for so yeah, other than that I still kick myself in the butt for it. Yeah, okay but other than that tell me what you think of this video let's start off start with killer is dead it's a it's a collector's edition pretty sweet let me see released back in what August 1st 2013 this is what the Metacritic score for it Blah, 64 out of 100. Okay. <laughs> Hack and slash video game developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer. Okay, sweet. But I'll show you stuff that's in here because it's pretty much the one that's got the most stuff, anyways. But awesome. It's got the little slip cover for the game. I don't think I've played this yet. If I did, I don't remember. That's complete. It's got like uh, the music of Killer is Dead. Looking at my thing here, it goes around $50 usually on eBay, average. Sometimes high, sometimes low, but here's the art of Killer is Dead. Sweet. Right. Not bad. Don't remember where I picked this up at, but I'm pretty sure I didn't pay full price for it. <laughs> but sweet. Okay, then the next one is 50 Cent. I'm gonna get onto my Wikipedia there. 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Complete. This one goes for around 50 bucks on average. This is a third person shooter video game developed by swordfish studio to published by thq for playstation 3 and xbox 360 it's a sequel to 50 cent bulletproof it's all sequel it was released in north america february 24 2009 metacritic score of uh, 72 out of 100 for ps3 so sweet i think i picked this up at disc traders i believe i don't remember <laughs> Okay, the next game we're going to talk about, and I got this online on eBay. I made a deal with somebody. I actually got this for a pretty good deal, too, is um, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Complete. This one goes on the average of between $50, $60, sometimes higher. But let me see. 3D Dot Game Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an action role playing game developed by Silicon Studios for PlayStation 3. The game is presented using voxel based graphics and 3D environment to emulate 2D graphics earlier video games. Blah blah. Okay, sweet. This was released in North America on May 11, 2010, with a Metacritic score of a 77 out of 100. So, sweet. 3D Dot Game Heroes. No, I haven't played this one. <laughs> I have played this one quite a bit actually. I'm gonna probably get back on it again. It's pretty quick, pretty sweet. Lollipop chainsaw. Let me get on there. Lollipop chainsaw. Complete. This one goes on average around 60. And let me see. This is a 2012 hack and slash video game developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 console. Features Juliet Starling, voice of Tara Strong, a cheerleader, zombie hunter fighting zombies in a fictional California high school. Sweet. This one was released in North America in June 12, 2012. And what's the Metacritic score for this one? Uh, 67 out of 100 for PS3. But yeah, Lollipop Chainsaw. Now we got. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. It's a, it's, <laughs> I like this. Uh, Zora's Wrath. I think I bought this one new, I believe. I don't remember. 
So I've had this for a while. It's a action video game developed by CyberConnect2 and published by Capcom. This is a game follows the title char character, the demigod Azura, as he seeks revenge on the Pathian of other demigods who betrayed him. Sweet. <laughs> This one was released in North America on February 21st, 2012. Metacritic score, see if it's got it on here. Here we go, Metacritic score of 71 out of 100. So is Wrath. Well, this one I picked up pretty cheap. I think I got a yard sale or something like that. I didn't pay much for this one and I'm glad it's up on well, folklore. Complete. And this one on average goes for around 60. Zora's Wrath is about 62. I don't think I ever mentioned that one. So Folklore is a 2000 action role playing video game developed by Game Republic and published by Sony Entertainment. The game is set in Ireland and the Celtic otherworld of Irish mythology. Hmm. Sweet. This one was released in North America, October 9th, 2007. Metacritic score of 75 out of 100. The folklore. I played a little bit of this game here. I should play more of it. It's pretty sweet. I like it. Uh, this one I picked up at a pawn shop. And I think I only paid like 5 bucks for it. And this is uh, Blades of Time. For PS3. Let's see. Yeah. It's got a GameStop. I'll receipt in it. <laughs> it's complete. And Blades of Time is an action adventure hack and slash video game developed by Ganjin Entertainment, published by Konami and Iceberg Entertainment. The game is a reboot sequel to Ganjin's Password X Blades. All right, sweet. Okay, this one was released in North America on PS3 on March 6, 2012. Metacritic score for PS3 will be 53 out of 100. So Blades of Time. No, I never played this one, so I should try it out. And this one goes on the average about around 60. These prices can be lower or high. I just kind of wrote down looking on eBay you know, sold items. Some of these games Sometimes people pay over a hundred dollars for it, and I don't understand why. Then I see a price for like fifty, then one for sixty. <laughs> okay, the next one will be Persona for Arena Ultimax, and don't remember how I got this one. I, I looked at seeing it was in my collection. I can never figure out how in the world did I get this. This goes around fifty dollars. This one. Uh, Anybody knows Persona 4? It's a fighting video game developed by Atlas and Arc System Works. It was released in arcades in 2013 and PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2014. And this was released on the date of North America, September 30th, 2014. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, it's complete. <laughs> With a Metacritic score. Hmm. Okay, on uh, PS3, 84 out of 100. Sweet. Persona. Now, uh, this one, next one I bought from my buddy over at Rookies there. It's a, a seal, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. I probably will never open it, but um, Splatterhouse on PlayStation 3. And it's sealed. I'm not sure what this sealed version goes for, but I know on average the game goes for around 70 70 ish which is sweet okay um splatterhouse is a horror themed beat em up hack and slash video game developed developed by namco games and namco network america and published by namco bandai games it's a reboot of the original splatterhouse which was released in 1988 if anybody remembers that one and this one was released in North America on November 23rd, 2010. And a Metacritic score of uh, a PS3, 59 out of 100. So Splatterhouse. Sweet. Now the last game, this is the one I pulled, paid full retail. I looked online how much I paid for it, which I, to my opinion, I probably overpaid, but I got a nice clean copy. And that is um, 
Africa for the PS3. Yeah. It's complete. It's a clean copy. Really nice. I had to make sure it was going to be clean and good. And this game goes on average around 170, which is sweet. And <laughs> I kicked myself in the butt because I seen this game for $60 over at GameStop a couple years ago. And I should have picked it up then. No, I had to wait. Man, wait and wait and wait. I paid a lot for it. <laughs> Africa is a no in Southeast Asia. Okay, whatever. It's a photography and safari simulation video game for the PlayStation 3. Take pictures, basically, I'm, I'm assuming. I haven't played it yet, which I'm afraid to play for how much I paid for it. In North America, it was released on October 6, 2009. Pretty sweet. Metacritic score of 63 out of 100. But maybe I will. Maybe I'll find a, a ROM or something and try to emulate on my computer or something. I don't know, but yeah. Africa. Well, oh, my game stack of games just kind of fell over, but those are 10 games I want to highlight. I should, I'll probably do more videos of uh, of my PS3 collection as I go forward, as I'm, st as I'm collecting more and more. I got a lot of games to talk about. But tell me what you think. You know, like, subscribe, comment below. And I'll see you later. Have a good one, everybody.